Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm bringing you a quick video on the tax info for Mixer. So a lot of people have been asking me, hey, what's going on? So here it is, short and sweet, right to the point. This applies to anybody in the US. I don't know other um, countries' tax laws or anything. So if you're in the US, just do this and you'll be good to go. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, here we are on Mixer, top right hand corner of the screen. We'll go to Broadcast Dashboard. Now, when you're here, bottom left hand side, it says Monetize. Click that, and you'll get a thing to fill out first name, address, and stuff like that. You fill that out, and it says Hang Tight, we'll be right with you. After that is done, you go through this checklist. We'll start with number one. You click number one right here, it'll take you to this page. Go ahead and select your region. So we're in the United States. Right here is where most people might get confused. Individual or company. And this goes along with the W9 or W2, whatever form you have to fill out later. So basically, if you're just starting out a new streamer, you're just an individual. You're not coming from like a big brand name. So go ahead and click this company name i put in dr tech tech for mine and then fill out all your contact info okay so once you fill out your contact info you hit finish and it'll be a screen that pops up that just shows all the info you just typed in you do agree to the ter the terms of service and then once you hit finish again it'll be shown up here now, at this moment, you can go ahead and exit out of this. Go back to where we were originally, just refresh the page. And as you can see, check mark up here, it's done. You sign in the, the mixer agreement, that's what we just did, done. Now, tax info. This is probably where a lot of people are getting stuck at too. Go ahead, edit. All right, so we're setting up the tax form now. We'll go, just follow the step marks. Do any of these apply to you? So here we are. Following the form now, check the top one. As long as they apply to you, which they most, mostly they should. Then you hit next. Here's the part where people I got confused. Just take it slow. To your name, as it shows up on your, as if you were applying for a job. So just put your name. You don't need to put a business name. There's no asterisk by it. Just leave it blank. Just use your name. Right here. If you're just starting out, if you're just, you know, doing it as a hobby, individual. The only time you'd need any one of these is if like you like were a big YouTuber or something like that. You ha you created your own business. You had an LLC or something to back you up. 99% of the people that will end up watching this or filling this out, it's always going to be individual. And then you re-input your address and all that. And now this. Social security number. Just use this one. You can apply to get a employee ID number, but just easier to use your social security number. If you don't have a social security number, like if you're in a different country, I would imagine this is all the same way, but you could probably just Google how to get an employee ID number for your country and then put it in that way. And then go ahead and check the box, sign it and hit next. And that's it. So once you hit next, it'll take you to the main hub. It'll say, please wait while Microsoft is updating or approving you then after that you'll go to this last one up here and that's how you get paid so it'll have you either put in your bank account or a paypal account and then once you put those details in it'll take an hour another hour or two before that gets processed and that's the end of it that's all you have to do hopefully this helped you out hopefully you can start making money now be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace